Hello guys, welcome to Math Practice Prep by DTW Tutorials. Welcome. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be solving five GED Math Practice Test questions on psychogeometry. All right. If this is your first time on this channel, Math Practice Prep is here to support you in passing your GED test. Okay. So please, please, it's a fairly new channel. Please try to click the subscribe button to support us to do more. Okay. And also check the video description box and other things that I do to support you in your GED exams. All right. And especially a Facebook group that will also support you so uh, later on you can check the, the video description box all right so let's get on to the first question now so our first question says what's the circumference of a circle B so let's say uh, this is our circle okay and it's drawn this way and we have six centimeter here all right in some questions they won't tell you what this is they um, you know they expect you to know what what this value is you know when you have a line from the center of the circle to any that touches any part on the circumference what's that line that line is called what a radius so from here to here is what a radius so you can have a diagram like this and your ax find uh, what is the circumference of what this circle without them without the question telling you it, it's of a radius this okay so if the question says what's the circumference is the circumference all right and it also says we should find the circumference to the nearest nearest tenth all right of a centimeter okay this is what the question says we should find what is the circumference all right of this circle to the nearest what tenth of a centimeter to the nearest tenth of a centimeter and um, I hope we remember our formulas for finding um, the circumference of a circle now to find the circumference of a circle this is the formula the circumference Of a circle okay let me just okay let me state it all the circumference of a circle is equal to what pi d well you'll be given pi in your formula sheet as what pi is equal to what 3.14 and d what is d here d is equal to what our diameter sorry our diameter it should just be an r and you know um if this is a radius our diameter is a full length okay is a line that crosses from uh, one point of this uh, of the circumference through the center to another point on the circumference that's what your diameter so let's say you have a smaller circle like this this is a, this is the center of the circle the diameter is from this point crossing the center to this point okay so this full line is your what diameter all right and we know that to get our diameter if we're given if we know our radius already our diameter is what two times what r where r is what r is equal to what r radius okay so r is equal to what r radius okay so now it's easy now for us to get the circumference of this what circle so we have our pi as what three point what one four times our d is what two times r is that not it as i explained earlier the diameter is from this point for of a circle to another point passing what the center while the radius is a line from the center of the circle that touches what the circumference what of the circle this whole line is called the circumference of the circle okay this is quite essential for uh for you to know you know what the circumference of the circle is what a radius is and what a diameter is okay so you can easily interpret out your question all right so from here our diameter let's quickly solve this together so we have the diameter equal to two times r all right, so we went two, and our arrow is what our radius is what six centimeter times six will give us what twelve what centimeter. So our diameter here is what twelve centimeter. So we have three point one four times what twelve centimeter. Okay, when you punch in your calculator, you'll be given calculators uh, on this. When you punch in your calculator, we are going to have a thirty seven point six eight centimeter. And note your question. The question says what is the circumference of this circle to the nearest tenth 
of a centimeter to the nearest tenth of a centimeter so remember this is six sorry so to the nearest tenth of a centimeter means points you know tenth is when you after your decimal point the first digits after you know remember place value don't worry i'm also going to do a video on place value and um, um uh, part particular questions that come out from your test on place values all right so to refresh you know you know to learn maths is better through examples and through practice and test questions all right so the first digit after your decimal point is your tenth so our answer has to be point one digit here leaving the, the answer like this it means to the nearest what hundred okay so but the question says to the nearest what tenth so from here we have to approximate we have to check now the the number immediately after six okay the number immediately after six which is eight is it greater than or equal to five all right is it greater than or equal to five if it is greater than five or if it is equal to five then we can approximate a one add a one to six to make it for seven but if it is less than five then we can't approximate okay but eight here is greater than five so we add a one to what six that's plus one so our final answer is what 37 point seven centimeter okay so this is our answer all right to so the nearest what tent okay so don't bother about uh, approximation don't worry i'm going to do a video on approximation with several practice test examples okay so please make sure you subscribe to this channel and also share to your friends family and loved ones trying to uh, prepare for their ged exams also okay so let's go to our next question now we have this let's say we have this the second practice uh, test question says we have this circle we're looking at circle geometry and we're given this this is the center of the circle and this is what five inch five inch okay inches let me let me write it in four inches okay all right and the question says find the area and circumference of the circle okay you don't need to bother about your formulas because definitely they're going to give you a formula sheet okay so what you need to bother about is getting the right um uh, the the items right okay the values right what is your d what is your r that is what you need to bother about okay for the formula for your area of a circle and circumference of a circle it's on your formula sheet okay so you don't need to bother your head about it to cram or 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 put it in the heart okay so now here we have five first of all it says find the area so how do we find the area of this uh, particular circle the formula for the area let's write it down area of a circle is equal to pi r square okay so from here i hope you know our radius is what five what inches our radius is what five inches don't be confused by these two lines here they're trying to confuse you by drawing you know this part is, is what we call a sector but we know that any line from the center of the circle to the circumference is what a, a radius so this is five inch it means also this part is also what five inch inches okay so it's still the same so and this is also a line from the center of the circle to a point on the what circumference so it is also five inches okay please stay close with me okay just stay close right so here what is our pi our pi is what 3.14 and what is our radius our radius for me is what five so we have five square and what would this give us 3.14 times what 25 and what would that give us if we multiply this punch in our calculator we're going to have 78.5 inches this is our answer okay for the area of this circle now this the next question says what is the circumference of the circle remember circumference of the circle the formula is what pi d so we have circumference equal to what pi d so how do we get our d remember our d is what two times what r so we have pi brackets what two times r so all this give us this is pi what is two we have two 
what is our r? Our r is what 5 times 5. So what are we left to do? We are left with what pi bracket what 10. And what is pi? Pi is what 3.14 times 10. Okay, and this will give us what? When we multiply 3.14 times 10, when we multiply by 10, we, all we need to do is just shift this decimal point uh, to the right by one place. Okay, because since we're multiplying, so our answer is here 31.4 inches. So this is our answer for the circumference of so this is our answer for the circumference of this circle. Okay, so I need to erase all this now. Let's go to our next um, questions. Okay, so, so our third question here says, if the area of circle O is 49 pi, comma, what is is its diameter so we've been given the area of the circle as 49 pi and now we're asked to find its what diameter okay and remember what's the formula for the area of the circle area of a circle is equal to let's say capital a is equal to what pi r square okay and it says this is the area of what this circle so all we need to do now is to first of all to and to get your diameter you can easily get your diameter by knowing your what radius all right so these are the two things that connect this formula area of circle and your your radius so you can see so this formula connects what our area with our what radius and if we get our radius we can easily get our diameter okay so what's the area of the circle here it says the area of the circle is what 49 what pi so 49 pi is equal to what pi r square so from here you can see we can cancel out pi is that not it since pi is on this side of the equation and also pi is on this side so or, or let me let's do this together let me not let me not um, take a step two step forward let's just divide both sides by what pi so in dividing both sides by pi this will cancel out this will cancel out so we're left with what 9 is equal to what r square which is the same as r square is equal to 49 from here we can get a value of r alone and to get find the value of r remember that we have in getting our r will square root what what is on the right hand side so r is equal to the square root of what 49 and what is the square root of 49 the square root of 49 is what 7 so r is equal to 7 so from here it's easy now for us to get our diameter where our diameter d is equal to what 2 times r and here we have 2 times what is r we've gotten our r as what 7 so times 7 so it equals to what 2 times 7 is 14 so this is our diameter and this is the answer to this question okay so uh let's let me draw a line here we still have enough space here so we could solve this and uh question four okay it says given this figure let me draw this figure you have a square and we have a circle inscribed in the square the circle touches the four parts of the square all right and we're given this shaded area we're asked to find the area of this shaded region the shaded region the area of the shaded region okay to get the area of the you know we're still in geometry all right to get the area of the shaded re region is just simply the area of the square okay minus the area of what this circle and we'll get this remaining area the area of the total square minus this area of the circle you take away the area of the circle and you'll be left with what this area the shaded portion so to get this the shaded portion okay is equal to what the area of the square minus let's put this minus here minus the area of the circle where we've been given from here to here as our radius okay from here to here as our radius where this is what three inch inches okay 
so from here to here is a uh, what radius okay that's r okay in your question you won't be told that this is what the radius they will just put from here to here but you have to know that the line drawn from the center of the circle to any point on the circumference is what's the radius okay please make sure you remember this all right so this is what our radius and definitely uh, if this is our radius which is from here to here okay then from here another line from here to here let's say from here to here is also three watts inch okay so it means this whole length here is the length of our square are you getting me that's the diameter of the circle is equal to the length of the square so this is three plus three which is what six so this is six six watts inch and if this is if um one part this is a square if one part is six inch it means the other part is also six inch all right because a square has all its sides equal all right i hope you get what i what i just did now if from to here is three inches all right it, it means from here to here is also three inch and when you add this up together it gives us what six which also means it's uh, the diameter of this circle and the diameter of the circle is from this point to this point which is also the length of what the side of the square so from here to here is six what uh, inch so and this is a square if one side is six inch it means every other part is what six inch because a square has all sides what equal you can see how we have to interpret out our sides and parameters all right so from here we have the area of the square minus what the area of the circle so what's the area of a square the area of a square is what l square minus what's the area of the circle pi r square so from here the area of the shaded part which is what we're looking for L square will be what 6 square minus pi. What is R square? R is what 3 inch, which is what times 3 square. So we have here 36 minus pi is what 3.14 times what is 3 square? 3 square is what 9. So we have here 36 minus this times this. What would this give us to give us 28.2? Two six and what is thirty six minus twenty eight point two six? That will give us what seven point seven four inch. Okay, so this is our answer of the this the area of the shaded wood part. Okay, our final question in this video. That's our question five. It says the area. Let's quickly write this here. The area of a circle is sixty four pi find its circumference circumference in terms of pi okay when a question says in terms of pi it means we are not to put the value of pi as what 3.14 into the equation okay into the formula we are to leave pi the same so finding its circumference in terms of pi, pi will remain the same. So it means in the option, pi would, would be in the option, okay? So here we have, we, the question says the area of the circle is this. So what's the area of a circle? The area of a circle is what? Pi r square. It says find its circumference. And what's the circumference? Remember, circumference is what? Circumference is equal to what? Pi d. Let's, have, let's first, in getting a uh, circumference, we need to know the diameter. Is that not it? And to know the diameter, we need to know our uh, what radius. Since we've been given the area of the circle as what? 64 pi. So it's easy for us to get our radius. So let's put in the area of the circle as what? 64 pi is equal to what? Pi pi r square. From here, this pi will cancel out this pi, just like we did here. All right. I'm just cancelling immediately. I'm not um, taking that step of dividing. All right. So since it's on the same side, I can easily cancel out. Don't worry. I'm also going to do some algebra on this channel so you would understand better why we, we did this. Okay. So here, so we have 64 equal to what r square. So this means the same as what r square is equal to what 60. Four. From here, to get an arrow, we have to what square root what 64. And what is the square root of 64? 
is equal to 64 is a perfect square and the square root of 64 is what 8 so our radius is what 8 so if our radius is 8 it's now easy for us to get our diameter our diameter is equal to what 2 times what r which will be what 2 times our radius which is what 8 so we have 16 as our diameter so from here it is easy for us to now find our circumference so our circumference c is equal to what pi d where according to the question it says what find its circumference in terms of pi so we're not putting um the value of pi as 3.4 we leave pi the same so we have pi times what is our diameter our diameter is what 16 so times what 16 which is equal to what 16 pi so this is our answer in terms of pi so you're going to see this in the option all right so this is our right answer for this uh, final question all right so thank you for staying tuned um to today's video so thank you for staying tuned to the end of this video please uh please share this channel with your friends family and loved ones preparing for the ged test and also don't forget to check the description box for other things i have that would support you in your in your ged test such as the facebook group and also other videos that would support you and all right thank you and from mad practice prep don't forget jesus christ is coming soon give your life to christ for he is the way he is the truth and he is the life and also you are destined to win in your forthcoming gd test i wish you success see you in our next video